allow us to get a little cheesy for a few minutes. When it comes to charcuterie boards, you can't help to think about meat and cheese. And I want to welcome Rebecca Sobrato, the owner of Let's Cheese. She creates beautiful and delicious boxes, boards, and tables that you and your guests will love. And oh my goodness, the smell, the aroma just overtakes you. And we were talking before the show, you know I'm a charcuterie guy. It just seems to bring people together. So uh, your passion for it is obvious. I mean, this looks like roses, uh, some of that pepperoni yes. there. I mean, we got all kinds of great stuff. We've got honey, we've got grapes, crackers, brie cheese, and you name it. So where does your passion for this come from? Well, my passion comes from one Thanksgiving that I just decided to host at home. Mm -hmm. It, I like bringing my friends together. And I created one board and everyone was just like, we have to start a business and that's how it just kind of came about. Very and good. I absolutely love it. Yes, I can tell. <laughs> I've never quite seen you've taken charcuterie boards to the next level. And yes. The name Let's Cheese is kind of interesting, too. So the name of Let's Cheese, growing up in Miami, I have a way of speaking with our girlfriends. Uh -huh. And one would get together and be like, hey, Mike, give uh -huh. me the cheese. And that was the way of saying let's gossip. So why the name Let's Cheese? When you get together around a grazing board, you tend to socialize. Like, hey, what oh, is that? Yes. And that's the why the name Let's Cheese came about. I love it. Yes. When you host it, it just it helps bring everybody together. Yes, it does. About. It brings so, everyone together. I am so excited today. I can't wait to learn. So what are we making here? So today we're going to make a very simple platter for two uh -huh. and I'm going to walk you through it. Okay. Are I'm you ready. ready? I'm ready. Okay. So what we're going to do is that we're going to grab our brie. Okay, are you a brie so lover? I love all cheese, especially brie. So okay, so we're going to do a little brie river. Maybe I'll stack some brie. So a river. I'm thinking of a stream. Let's stream go river. Meander. Yeah. How's that? Kind of Perfect. Like a little, yeah. A river that curves a little. Okay. Yeah, we can do it just oh, like that. You. Perfect. <laughs> it up nice. Okay, so next up, I like to add different cheeses throughout the board to okay. kind of give it a balance. Everything is about a balance. All right. So there you go. That is your Havarti. Okay, the Havarti cheese. Yes, so we're going to put the Havarti just cheese. Just kind of sprinkle it. Um, yeah, you can sprinkle them, or I like to keep them together, just okay. because it's the buddy system. Got it. So yeah. the buddy system, I'm learning here. So yeah, so you can put like a little group over here. Okay, so there's one, two. We got two groups. Uh, why not three? We'll do one. Okay. Toward the absolutely. Edge. I want some symmetry. I mean, the rule is there is no rule. It's okay. the art of charcuterie. This is your canvas, and you are letting your creative juices flow. Okay. Just like you're doing it right now. And yes, I'm loving it. Now you've got these beautiful olives and, and grapes. So, where so do we put these? those are the Casa Patrono olives. They uh -huh. are Spanish. They are great for all my non-olive eaters. Okay. They're very mild. Very nice. Um, yes. Okay. <laughs> we can stack them. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Let's <laughs> give it some color. <laughs> there you go. All right, and then here's some more greenery. We so, have some more greenery. So, so cucumbers are a great way for your friends that are gluten-free or low-carb. Good point. It can be used as a cracker. So know your audience as we're making You this should definitely well. know your audience. You should try to keep it as neutral as possible unless there's a dietary request. Okay. Like I'm allergic to olives or pistachios or whatever. But for the most part, you just kind of have everything. Some good points here. Yeah. Okay, so I see we've got honey grapes. So the next thing here, a couple more greens. So while you place, I'm going to go ahead and just fix me up a little here. Fix you up a little bit and kind of. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There we go. All right, so we're kind of grouped, and yes. then we have the, the meats and then the yes. grapes. The so. meats are already assembled for nice, you, so nice. basically you're just going to grab a nice little chunk and I place gotcha. them. Okay. There you go. Those are called Beautiful. the salami chains. It's the salami, okay. Yeah, you and have I've salami, you have chorizo. The salami looks beautiful. How, so do, you make, how I do you love, do that? I love the salami rose. The mm -hmm. salami rose is kind of my staple, my signature in all my boards. Like, if you see a salami rose, chances awesome. are Let's Cheese did it. Okay, yeah, that's unique. I've never seen that before. Yeah, and these are candy grapes. They're absolutely sweet. Oh, yes. I believe the redder the grape, the better for mm -hmm. your charcuterie. It yes. does give it a pop of color. Mm -hmm. I highly recommend nice, red. Deep, passionate red. Yes, deep, right. passionate reds. And then this. So for the most part, I don't add crackers to my boards just okay. because it could get staled. I see that. With the condensations of everything going on. Okay. So you can put your That's grapes it. here. Got there it. you go. Your prosciutto ribbons. Mm -hmm. Prosciutto is very temperamental. Wow, if ribbons. you know, you know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you know, you know. Yes, and uh, nuts for folks that want pistachios. So pistachios, uh, if you do flavor pistachios, even better. These mm -hmm. are salt and pepper, so it does right give it there. a little kick. We're and then there. you, yeah, the we're almost finale. there. Now, the grand finale. Here we go. You know what? The honey 
and the chocolate. I always have to have chocolate on it. Yes, anything, so. and I believe chocolate pretzels are an excellent staple okay. just because it's crunchy, it goes with wine, and believe it or not, it goes with cheese. Yeah, yes, so this is something for folks getting ready for Valentine's Day that's yes. uh, a nice, unique present, maybe. Agreed. And then for honey, you always want to have something sweet. You want to have I'm something sweet. So, yeah, I cheese. mean, this is your board. If you want to drizzle honey all over it, you go for <laughs> it. Brie and honey go together like peanut butter and jelly. That's what I hear, so <laughs> I can't wait. Okay, so I've got this, and in case somebody doesn't like honey, I'll keep one of the breeze. Okay. I'll keep this up here. Perfect. And we are set. I've made my first charcuterie board. And Congratulations, <laughs> so Mike. <laughs> and where can folks find you? So we are actually on the website and Google. We are letscheesejacks.com. Mm -hmm. And as a little token of appreciation, I have just released a launch of a downloadable PDF that you can get for promotional value at $4.99. Mm -hmm. It's a basic PDF tutorial that you can download and create charcuterie the Let's Cheese way. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Mike. Uh, you were awesome. And of course, for much more on the segment, you can just head to our website. Okay. And that is firstcoastliving.net.